सो नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द मेकानिजम्स ओके मेकानिजम मेकानिजम्स अंडरलाइन डिस्नेया ओके हाउ डिस्नेया इज कॉज ओके द मेकानिजम अंडरलाइन द डिस्नेया इज कॉम्प्लेक्स बिकॉज इट इज इट इन्वॉल्व्स मल्टीपल पाथवेज मल्टीपल पाथवेज ओके सो इट इज लाइकली दैट अ गिवन डिजीज a given disease state might produce a sensation of dyspnea via more than one underlying mechanisms one disease can produce dyspnea via multiple mechanisms via multiple mechanisms okay the main mechanism underlying the dyspnea is efferent efferent reafferent mismatch the efferent efferent mismatch okay the main uh, mechanism underlying the dyspnea is a efferent the efferent mismatch it means that it means that there is a mismatch in the efferent and the efferent pathways efferent and the efferent pathways controlling the respiratory muscles and the centers of respiration centers of respiration okay this is a sensory cortex sensory cortex and this is the brain stem okay we have two areas here yeah. this is a sensory uh, sensory cortex this is a sensory cortex and this is a motor cortex okay in the cerebral cortex we have sensory cortex and motor cortex and this is the brain stem okay so मल्टिपल एफ्रेंट पाथवेज मल्टिपल एफ्रेंट पाथवेज आर डिराइव फ्रॉम द पेरीफेरी टू द सेंट्रल ओके पेरीफेरी टू द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम दिस मल्टिपल पाथवेज आर फर्स्ट इज पेरीफेरल कीमो रिसेप्टर्स ओके पेरीफेरल कीमो रिसेप्टर्स दिस पेरीफेरल कीमो रिसेप्टर्स आर मेनली प्रेजेंट इन द Aortic, these are aortic chemoreceptors and aortic chemoreceptors and carotid chemoreceptors. Okay, the peripheral chemoreceptors present the aortic body and carotid. Uh, and the central receptors present in the brain stem. Central chemoreceptors present in the Brain stem. I present in the brain stem. So the peripheral chemoreceptors take the efferents to the central chemoreceptors in the brain stem. Okay, central chemoreceptors in the brain stem, and ah, uh, ah, uh, if there is hypoxemia, if there is hypoxemia, that means oxygen is less in the body, or hypercapnia, hypercapnia, or car that means the carbon dioxide is high, or acidemia. then uh there is dyspnea okay via the via the motor pathways Th this will be discussed uh after some time okay these two uh aortic and uh, carotid chemoreceptors take the efferent fibers to the central chemoreceptors central chemoreceptors okay and these two are responsible for the ear hunger Ear hunger. Okay. There are other mechanoreceptors which take the uh, efferents to the brainstem and the sensory cortex. Okay. These mechanoreceptors. Second is the first is peripheral chemoreceptor. Second is mechanoreceptors. Okay. These mechanoreceptors are activated by the mechanical exertion. Okay. They are basically stress receptors. So mechanical receptors are present in the upper airways. That is upper airway mechanical receptor, lung mechanical receptors, and chest wall mechanical receptors. Okay. The upper airways mechanical receptors are stress receptors, stress receptors, excitant receptors, excitant receptors, and G receptors, G receptors. So they are yes, I Z. See, okay. The upper key, up, uh, in the upper airways, there are stress receptors, excitant receptors, and the J receptors. Whereas in the chest wall, uh, the muscle spindles, muscle spindles, 
and the tendon organs tendon organs behaves as the mechanoreceptors and they take the efferents they also take the efferents okay they also take the efferents to the sensory uh, to the brain stem and also to the and also to the sensory cortex also to the sensory cortex so they also take the efferents okay and these three mechanoreceptors are mainly responsible for the chest tightness chest tightness so the uh, the ear hunger that we can see in some diseases is mediated by peripheral chemoreceptors aortic and carotid and chest tightness is due to mechanoreceptors of which uh, mechanoreceptor long mechanoreceptor and chest wall mechanoreceptors okay and they take the uh, sensory information to the brain stream and the sensory cortex okay and the information uh, taken to the sensory cortex will make us conscious about the conscious about the ear hunger will make us conscious about the ear hunger so the uh, some efferents also uh, travel from the brain stream brain stream to the sensory cortex and this makes us aware about the ear hunger ear hunger okay when these efferents are carried to the sensory cortex then we uh, realize the ear hunger we realize the breathing effort okay in response to all these efferents the motor cortex the motor cortex uh, the motor cortex and the brain stream the motor cortex and the brain stream okay both of these will uh, <coughs> activate the respiratory muscles respiratory muscles and increase the work of breathing work of breathing okay and this will lead to dyspnea dyspnea so in response to the hypoxemia hypercapnia and acidemia the chemoreceptors are activated whereas uh, when there is a resistance when there is a resistance uh, in the airways the mechanoreceptors uh, from the upper airways lung and the chest wall are activated and these mechanoreceptors uh, will mediate the sensory information to the sensory cortex and the motor cortex will respond by activating the respiratory muscles and increasing the work of breathing which will lead to the dyspnea which will lead to the dyspnea and if there is a increase the work of breathing increase the work of breathing but when there is mismatch then there will be dyspnea okay normal condition if the sensory cortex and motor cortex this efferent and efferent fibers pathways are balanced then there is no dyspnea but when there is a mismatch in the efferent and the efferent pathways of uh, this system then there is dyspnea then there is dyspnea okay the motor cortex also uh, the motor cortex also sends some fibers to the sensory cortex and this will uh, make us aware about the respiratory effort this will make us aware about the respiratory effort okay the increased effort of respiration okay uh, the motor cortex will also uh, 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 in do, uh, when uh, fear or anxiety fear or anxiety also heightens the sense of dyspnea okay and what they do is that they exacerbate the underlying physiological disturbances in response to an increased respiratory rate or disordered breathing pattern so that means if there is an increased respiratory rate or disordered breathing pattern then the physiological responses are exacerbated and uh, so there is heightened sense of dyspnea that is the sense of dyspnea is increased okay so this is the main uh, mechanism on the line dyspnea so uh, let me show this okay uh, the efferents are carried via the 
cavitated chemo receptors and aortic chemo receptors and this will call air anchor to the brain stem okay and the uh, upper airway mechanical receptors long mechanical receptors and chest wall mechanical receptors takes the efferent to the brain stem and also to the also to the sensory cortex also to the sensory cortex and the sensory cortex the uh, and the motor cortex responds by the efferent signals and this efferent signals passes to the sensory cortex and to the brain stem uh, to the brain stem to the respiratory muscles to the respiratory muscles and uh, when there is a mismatch in this efferent and the efferent when there is a mismatch in this efferent and the efferent system then there is dyspnea then there is dyspnea okay thank you